the Lord is good. And all the times. We thank the Lord that um, he has availed us another opportunity to sit at his feet and feed from his word. Um, there's a demand for this presentation and uh, I postponed our series to tomorrow. Uh, looks like people want to understand how do you penetrate the realm of the spirit. Okay. So we'll do it. It will still contribute to our series. I will see how to squeeze the series so that they fit within the remaining three days because Sabbath is a high Sabbath. We had indicated that if you want to win spiritual warfare, you do not fight in the physical realm. Strive to penetrate to the realm of the spirit. That is where we, we fight. And why am I saying that? Someone could be thinking, why? Because we said, God is spirit. The devil is a spirit. Angels, both holy and rebellious ones, are all spirits. They operate in the realm of the spirit. It is Paul in Ephesians 6, if I'm not wrong, that reminds us, and that is why I have a problem with people who keep saying there are no demons. There's nothing like demons. When the whole Bible is a vast with even encounters, encounters that Christ had with demons. Unless we are reading different Bibles. Paul himself is saying our war is not with flesh and blood. So when I hear a preacher stand and say, we don't have demons in the Adventist church. Demons don't respect the church, the organization. The only thing they fear is that you are a true convert. That's all. For as long as you are a churchgoer, a nominal Christian, one who visits Endor and still comes to church, I can assure you, demons don't respect the fact that you are a Seventh-day Adventist church member baptized. Regular or standing, it's called what? How do you call that statement? Regular and good standing. They don't care. The only thing they fear is that you're a true convert and you have Christ in your life. That one they fear. After you were baptized, regular and good standing, your membership is in the church records. And on Sunday, you are visiting Simbawanga and Professor Majid Marif. And on Sabbath, you are here. Ah, they don't care. Ephesians 6, Paul reminds us and he says in verse 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. The life of a Christian is a life of warfare. That one I want to remind you, we will keep fighting until Christ comes. Ellen White says the life of a Christian is a life of warfare. 
constant warfare. We are at war. There is no moment when a Christian is not at war. We are at war every single moment. And we are at war because the devil is alive. War will cease when he will be bound when Christ comes. Then John will tell you there will be no more what? Weeping. Christ will wipe a what? They are tears. Devil and sin and demons no longer exist. But for now, before he comes, we are at war every single moment. So Paul reminds us and says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. He says against principalities. Unless we don't know what principalities are. You're now making me preach what I didn't intend to preach. Just one second. One second. My Bible has so many papers, so I can't even get what I want. It's here. When, when Daniel gets into a 21-day fast and angel Gabriel comes and tells him, from the day you set your heart to pray, day one, your prayer was answered. But the delay has been there because he talks about a prince. He says in chapter 10 of Daniel, he says, then he said to me from verse 12, chapter 10 of Daniel, do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were hard, and I have come because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. And behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Ellen White, when describing this scene, talks about the principalities that govern. Demons are territorial. They operate in orders. The way the kingdom of darkness operates, that government, is a copy-paste of how the government of God operates. He just copy pasted. And that is why at times you when you are in Nairobi, you are fine. Okay? When you are in Nairobi, you are fine very healthy. The minute you set foot in your ancestral land, whether it's Kisi, whether it's Migori, Omabe, Nyamera, Kisi, the minute you set foot there, you are sick. Who has that experience? Anytime you set foot in your ancestral land, you must come back to Nairobi sick. But once you come back to Nairobi, you are now fine. And you have even stopped going home today because you fear. Killer time ni kienda nyumbani ni nakuwa ni? Gonjo. Sasa unasema, oh, hiko wachawi huko wananiangalea machombaya. Let me tell you. Your husband can be working far away from you. 
and when they are far away from you, conversations with him are very mature. And he's so sober. But the minute he moves from there to come back home, home now where you are, Unashanga nini imebadilika? Probably, probably he works in Nigeria. You're fine, you're fine. The minute he set foot in Kenyan airspace, you're wondering, zile vitu zote tumekuwa tukiongea ilienda wapi? Nini lefanyika? You will not see him. You will not see his money. You will not see his presence is in another home. With another woman, other children. But when he goes the other side, you have plants. And it's okay. But when the minute I'm here to ESP, everything, everything changes. It means it is a power that only works on him within this territory. On the other side, it's absent. I might not explain all that right now because that is not the sermon for today. I'm only trying to tell you that demons are territorial. Principalities take care of certain territories. Go study that story from Spirit of Prophecy. It will inform you much better. And uh, when why has that book gone to again? When they're done with Daniel, he tells Daniel that, uh, he tells Daniel that, uh, you know, I, I am not yet done with that battle with the prince of Persia. He says in verse 20, then he said, do you know why I have come to you? And now I must return to fight with the prince of Persia. He's not yet done with the prince of Persia. And when I have gone forth, indeed the prince of Greece, will come. Then you wonder, was Gabriel fighting a physical prince of Greece? No. A physical prince of Persia? No. Territorial demons that operate within that place. And at times you set your heart to pray for something. And it takes long. I want to assure you from day one, your prayer was answered. But your blessings cannot reach you because there is a struggle. And you keep saying, why is it taking too long? It is the same Bible that says, from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by what? By force. Blessings don't come on a silver plate. The Lord wants to bless us, but the devil will make sure you don't get the what? The blessing. So it is the violence, your violence that will make you have it. What kind of violence? Not physical violence. A violence of devotion. But there's something he tells Daniel. He tells him, I want you to be sure, even though that war is there, I want you to be sure that I must win. He says, but I will tell you what is noted in the scripture of truth. No one upholds me against this except Michael, your prince. He says, all these people I'm going back to fight, they cannot withstand me. The only person that can take me down is Michael, who is Christ, and we are not fighting him. No. So you pray, say, I've prayed two years. <laughs> Mama mekana bwana yangu miaka saba, miaka kumi. Iyo ni mi. Unajua, unajua, unajua shetani alichukua wa Israeli miaka miaine. Unajua hivu kweli wewe. Wewe unaongea mutu wa mepotea na bwana yangu miaka kumi na tano. Na wa Israeli shetani alipotea na wao miaka ngapi. Ahijalishi ya mekana bwana yangu miaka ngapi. Hata kika na yo thelathini. Iko siku mungu watashuka. Siku ya wakovu. Oh, 
you see now he has moved on i told you those marriages are counterfeit the divorce is counterfeit the wedding is counterfeit why are you battling with counterfeit it will not see the light of day hakuna mahali itaenda um someone called me this morning i always say when i share people's experiences don't feel bad they could also be listening and wondering i told pastor my story he has gone to preach it at the pulpit and i'm quick to remind everyone even you when you talk to me about your story be sure one day the spirit will pull it out from the archives one day but don't be scared we don't mention your name we just saying relevant stories that people can re relate with because if i think the story of david does not help you as yet when i tell you david took someone's wife hata ikushtui but when i say first elder yenu ametoroka na bibi ya hiyo hiyo first elder ametoroka na bibi ya ya dikon hiyo hiyo inaingia si ndio nikisema david alitoroka na bibi ya uraya hata ushtuki so your story will just come because the holy spirit will pull it i don't plan to share these stories when when i'm preparing the sermon i never plan they just come on spot inspiration just to help us understand i personally used my stories to preach why not use yours but you can be so sure i don't talk about your name so she called me this morning and told me pastor you are my mentor i say who are you said i'm not adventist i'm pentecostal i've just called you this morning because for the last two years i have listened to you preach and i've been encouraged i've been moving forward with this battle today i've woken up in the morning i feel too low to continue with the battle so what has happened today he says uh, my husband is a wedding this coming saturday kuna news hii yenye unapatanga ati honey how are you wacha na hiyo sio news we unapiga kelele ati uliona message honey how are you iko mtu bwana yake hii sabato inakuja nafanya nini harusi and i said what is the background of your story and they say is um, i have heard you say that we can divorce on earth but in heaven that marriage is intact and i found strength to fight so are you talking to me you are divorced say yes i was divorced in 2021 what was the ground for divorce irreconcilable differences you know there is a story in matthew 19 christ discussing divorce and the question is should a man divorce his wife just for any reason i don't want to get into that but any reason Christ seems to permit divorce on grounds of adultery and he said there's no other reason except sexual immorality which to many people think that he permitted divorce he didn't because you don't understand what he meant he didn't permit it even on sexual immorality and this government will permit your divorce for any reason they range from irreconcilable differences what is our constitution saying who has read our constitution on divorce let me look for it very fast mumezoya kuingia kwa nyumba saa 4 very fast we have the where did i just just very fast very fast very fast or i deleted it i had captured it somewhere i had captured it somewhere yeah 
Mm. The, the reasons for divorce in this country. Number one, a spouse commits adultery. I tell you, if this was the reason, none of us would be married here. None. 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 Including your, your, your church pastor. None. If this was the reason for divorce. Because when Christ is discussing adultery, he does not, he does not count the physical act alone to be adultery. He says, if you look at a woman, what? You have committed what? And I've always asked this question. None of us seated here has been caught on the act. Tell me, anyone here right now, before I continue, tell me if you have never entertained that thought in your mind. Raise your hand. You who seated here, you have never, of course, none of us has been caught on the act, but who among us here can say, I've never entertained that thought in my mind? If that was the reason for divorce, all of us would not be in marriage. This government allows you to divorce a spouse is cruel to the other spouse or to any child of the marriage. Yani, if your spouse is cruel to your child, you are allowed to divorce. Of his, or if he is cruel to you, you are allowed to divorce. See, a spouse willfully neglects the other spouse for at least two years. Hey, at least two years. They allow you neglect up to one year, 1.6. If you can be, so unakanga ukiesabu, at least I can secure this divorce. Let me just wait until two years. So you are, you are, you are supposed to persevere the neglect. Be patient until two years elapse. Let me tell you, by the time two years elapse of neglect, utakuwa umefika mbali sana, hata kufikiria umekua neglected. Ati hata kwa umekua tu neglected two years, utakuwa umekufa. Hey. Na watu wamepata divorce, sababu ya hivi tu ninasoma hapa. The couple have been separated for at least two years. You are allowed a divorce in this country. A spouse has deserted their partner for at least three years. Umewachwa. Miaka nga? Tatu. Unaruhusiwa. Kupata divorce. Na hizi ndio tunapelekanga kotini. Usifikiri hizi vitu wasidewa na kimbianga na kotini yeti nini. Apana nizi vitu nasoma. A spouse has been sentenced to a term of imprisonment for life or for a term of seven years or more. The government allows you to divorce. Bwana yako tu ashikwe. Ashikwe tu hata kwa sababu yenye hawezi prove kwa koti ni uongo. Miaka saba. Ukisikia tu amefungwa miaka saba. Unaruhusiwa kufanya nini? Divorce ama imprisonment. Hey. A spouse has been diagnosed with a severe mental health disorder. This is to be certified by two doctors and one of them must be a psychiatrist. So the government allows Saitu bwana yako achizi sababu ya uchawi ya kisi awekwe tu na ruhusiwa kufanya nini ku divorce yeah. Look at how flimsy these reasons are. Let me start preaching. I had not started preaching. I will say that Paul is reminding us our war is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. We are fighting against rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Go read that bit very slowly in your own time. Those are orders of demonic power in the government of the darkness. And when one order fails to work on you, they upgrade to one. Until washindwe. Shetani ya wachangi watu hivo. Anajaribu kila kitu. Hile itafanya. Ndiyo. Anajaribu kila kitu. Yenye itafanya. Na wei unataka ujaribu ya moja, umechoka. Wacha ajaribu yote. Si mama tui mara. Ambia ye letter elofu moja. Wado ni mesi mama hapa. Si hami. 
So our war is not with flesh and blood. It's against forces of darkness. It's against evil spirits. We are warring against demons. And they operate in the realm of the spirit, like we discussed. And you cannot war with them in the physical realm. You can only succeed in the spirit realm. There's need for you to shift from the natural environment to a spiritual environment. A shift that can only be done through prayer and what? And fasting. Allow me to use the narrative in Mark chapter 9. I'm cruising with you very fast now. Mark chapter 9 is a story from um, verse 14. Uh, let me take it up to verse 17. And when he came to the disciples, he saw a great multitude around them and scribes disputing with them. So the scribes are disputing with, with the, the multitude that were around the disciples. Immediately, when they saw him, all the people were greatly amazed and running to him, greeted him. And he asked the scribes, what are you discussing with them? Then one of the crowd answered and said, teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit. And wherever he seizes him, let me leave it there first. I brought you my son, verse 17, who has a mute what? Spirit. I want you to notice that the father is able to recognize that there is a power behind his son's loss of speech. And it doesn't say, my son doesn't speak. My son is dumb. No. He says he has a mute word. Spirit. Did you know there are some diseases we have? You have treated everywhere. You've never gotten well. Your body aches. There's no diagnosis. You've, you've been to the biggest hospitals in this country. There is no word. Diagnosis. But you're still visiting doctors. You're moving from one specialist to another. And they're telling you we don't seem to find anything. But you're still pumping in money. Not all diseases are medical. Actually, most diseases purely spirit induced and we struggle with treatment for years until we medicine has become part of us there's just a chemist that knows you by name unaingia to chemist tv wanasema otoli umekuja because you just have to buy drugs there every month or every week or every two days. They know you by name. I'm glad he can recognize the son's dumbness has nothing to do with the medical condition or a disability. That dumbness, there's a spirit behind it. So there's a dark evil spell of dumbness in his son. I wish we could also recognize that the adultery in your husband is actually a spirit of adultery. When you see a man sleep with everybody, regardless of age, status, anything and everything, Sleep with old women, young women. Sleep with the, with the house girl, anything provided it puts on a skirt. It's called a woman. Has gone to the point of now sleeps with relatives, even his very own children. 
that person as a sex demon. But you can't recognize it because you're fighting a physical warfare. Whether it's drunkenness, name it, there's a spirit behind it. It doesn't just come. Even fear, fear, just when you have to deal with fear, fear is a spirit. The Bible says, for he has not given us a spirit of what? Fear, but of love, of power, and sound mind. Even fear is a spirit from the demonic world. Because the devil has power over you when he knows you are afraid. He thrives where there is fear. I wanted to demonstrate something. I don't know where it has. I demonstrated it in Parklands. I want a bottle of water. Let me show you how fear works. No, this, this mineral water, funeral water, those ones. It's here, it's here. I want, can I get an empty one? An em there's an empty one in the dustbin there. Just get me the one in the dustbin. Yes. I tell you how fear works. And the devil thrives where there is fear. Thanks. Thank you. So this is you. This is you. This is you. You have gone home from Nairobi. You've gone up country. And then you sleep in that house you've been unable to build. Saiga or Simba. Because you're saying, I can't build here. Here, if I build, my children will die. So even your children don't go home. You only go alone. Even your wife does not go. He remains in town, in an hotel. It's only you who goes. And when there's a funeral, she sleeps in town and goes to the funeral when they're almost burying. Chua! Out again. Fear. That is fear. So, you wake up in the morning from that house you're operating from. In the morning. And as you open the door, you meet you meet a big bird, dead, black one. A bird black, it's dead. Or a porcupine. Porcupines in the gonna mishale. Unafungwa tu ivi. You know what you do that fear opens you up to the operations of the evil one. He can now penetrate you. And I've always told Christians, let the, the devil should not stir you. I've closed it a little bit. There are those that will go. Fear will be there. But you can feel the bottle is there's a sound of psh, psh. it is still open for him to operate. Until the day you take away fear completely and you meet a dead bird and you are immovable. Immovable. Say ah Babanani. Iko kitu nimepata hapa kwa mlango. Bila kupiga kelele. Aija kushtua. When you see those things at the door there, or even find them on your windowsill, at times you'll find they've sprinkled even blood. The fact that it's dead, let no one lie to you, it came there dead. It came there alive. No one dropped it. It came flying. It came to you. Some, they're called monitoring spirits. They're coming to monitor you. When you find it dead, it is the presence of the Lord that has struck it. It should tell you how the Lord is just at hand. You don't say, oh, now our children can't come here. Oh, we now must look for land in, in, in Kitale. 
Kitale unajua huko kuna wakisi wengi Kisumu nya Masaria wakisi wako utawala wame hama wame hama wame hama wame hama I'm talking about kisses because those are the people I'm married to so I don't know about the Lu, 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 Lu. I don't know I have no business knowing about you but people have moved from ancestral lands fear left huge tracts of land barren fear when you live in a plot of 10 doors and you know eight of your neighbors ni watu wa madawa na wawili ni wa kristo alafu wa kristo wanahama kwa hiyo plot wanasema hapa tuwezi toboa it speaks to your christianity you do not even believe in who you claim you believe in you don't even know who god is and what he's able to do when you're in a plot like that and two of you know god it is the eight that should move not you And so when you are at home and you realize all your neighbors are witches you don't move you give them power when you move they are disturbing you because the presence of God shakes their altars and they will work to move you out so you just stand there up and you tutaishi watauwa kila kitu yako mpaka ngombe mpaka mbusi watakufa waambie hapa ndio nitaka hata ya job walibeba yo itarudi dabu dabu lakini hii style mna hama toka mmeacha kuhama mmeama Kenya ni, ni, yani ni, nani aliwaambia shetani ayuko utawala ayuko don hold huyu shetani anapatikana tu huko nyumbani nani aliwaambia hiyo sasa hii mmechoka mme realize aku kila mahali bado uchawi inawapata sasa mmeenda US <laughs> mnatoro sasa mnatoroka inchi za mbali huko pia ana ako huko huko hmm. i pray you're able to discern what you're dealing with is demonic power spirit of adultery drunkenness drugs and addiction pornography is a spirit lesbianism is a spirit Gayism is a spirit. Iki to yetu LGBTQ is a spirit. And let no one lie to you that you can save your child through a counselor, a psychologist, a doctor. Talk to my child, tell him this is how sexuality and sex functions. No. It won't work. I have sat with the kids that have been to doctors with all the reports it's not working. We only did something simple. We simply went into fasting and did a prayer of deliverance. They're fine. Because it's a demon. Masturbation, even pornography is a spirit. And then verse 18, napiga kelele. Verse 18 says this. And wherever it seizes him, this damn spirit wherever it seizes him it throws him down he forms at the mouth of course those who have been those who have seen uh, the phenomenon around demon possessed people those who, i know most of us if we see it tunaanza kutoroka mbio sasa hii mtu tu anguke hapa anze hivi tunasoma hapa watu watatoroka au watoroki wanaogopa wanatoroka shetani atawachafua oh <laughs> umekuja we ni wetu tunakujua si unaishi na bibi ya nani So hiyo ndio unaogopa si eti unatoroka unatoroka ataku ataku atakufunua na ukiambia wazee twende tuombe huyo mtu asema ah tungoje kidogo mimi naona mimi naona ni oxygen ile muishia ita ita watu wa health department nurses wako hapa wapeleke yeye huko nje kwa apate hewa mzuri kama ni mzuri mbona nyinyi ya mwanguki uoga watu wengine wanasema unajua hiyo vitu ku deal nayo ni ngumu uta deal nayo alafu itaingia kwa watoto wako which is true it requires a life of purity and holiness otherwise they can go back to your house you who's dealing with them Aitaka ngi maisha ya komsi komsa hivi hivi. Kesho umelala kwa 
kwa youth nyumba ya youth asubuhi wewe ndio uko on duty hapa haitaki hiyo maisha haitaki hiyo maisha yet umeka wa mama huku nje na kesho wewe ndio elder on duty family life hiyo kitu itachafua wewe it requires a life of purity and holiness when they see you otherwise they will tell you like they told the sons of siva christ we know all we know wewe mwenye umekuja hapa wewe ni mgani the bible says walichapwa paka waka wakafanya nini what they were wounded and naked demons wame, wali wachapa mpaka wakaumea wakatolewa mangu At elders wameenda kuomba nyumba ya mtu alafu unaona elders wanatoka huko mbio uchi na wameumea waliulizwa mmekujaje hapa kama nani wewe ni nani mbona unatokera I don't know why it gets in, it, it's getting juicier and wherever it seizes him it throws him down he forms at the mouth gnashes his teeth and becomes rigid and many times when you want even to lift them they are very heavy is it yeah i know there are people who have complained they are with children in the house who at times they just fall na ukienda kumwamsha afanye nini amuki na asongi amuki na kumtoa hapo pia ni ngumu they are already gone into the underworld what remains is the body and you you are treating a mental illness that's what you're treating wengine wana treat cerebral malaria hata wesi ulize hii cerebral malaria tumetibu miaka mbili yaishi ai so i spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out but they could not i love that bit disciples are followers of christ just like you and i followers of Christ but they were unable to cast out that spirit just like many of us wouldn't be able to do it but that doesn't mean you can't you can anyone can it only requires a life of holiness and purity you can command them and they live but if you know you're here 50 50 in life Your Christianity is compartmentalized. Hiyo hakuna kitu utafanya. Hiyo utasema tuo, tuombe alafu kesho tutafute pasta. Verse 19 says, he answered him and said, "Oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me." Notice Christ didn't say you have little faith. He said what? What is what is the difference between little faith and faithless? What is the difference? Kwani tuko kwa village karachonya ama tuko kwa tuko. Sinafikiri tuko Nairobi penye watu wamesoma. Yes. Good. When you say you have little faith it is there but it is what? Little. But faithless means there is no what? Faith. Christ is insinuating that it's not that they couldn't cast the demon The problem is they had no what faith that was the only problem they had no f- it's possible you can walk with Christ and not have faith it's possible and so when i see people give up in spiritual warfare it is evident they have no faith this thing they keep saying me i have faith mimi najua niko na imani mimi hakuna hiyo kitu hakuna wana ukitaka kujua mtu uko imani ngoja tu asukume kwa kona kidogo na shetani utajua ana imani Atambiwa tu sasa wewe umekaa miaka kumi, ujazalia ujazalia Ruben mtoto jamani wa mama wa kanisa hapa 
Sema mbona una twende nikupeleke kwa mama mwingine alitusaidia. Alafu unapeleka wewe kwa mama mwingine hapa Kibera hapa. Hapa. Unaenda mnaingia hapo Kibera, unapewa vitu hapo, vitu ya komeza, unapewa mpaka dawa kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa chupa ya lita tano. Mbuguru mbuguru inaitwa Jerika ya lita tano. Umetoka nayo Kibera. Nakuja nayo kwa nyumba unataka kushika mimba unakunywa kila asubuhi na jioni kila asubuhi na jioni bwana nakuuliza unakunywa nini anasema hii kitu nilipewa kwa mama mwingine inaweza tusaidia tupate mtoto miaka kumi. they are desperate desperate what you did know you visited a medium tumetembea kwa waganga hata kuna wale wetu tuko na watoto tulipata sio kwa maumbi tulipata kwa uganga najua iko watoto mko naye hapa kwa nyumba sio wa maumbi ni watoto wa uganga wacha nikuambie tu kitu moja sitaki nikudanganye mtoto wa kiganga will never live to bury you they will die before you die hiyo nikuambie leo bila kujua hata sasa hii najua kuna vile huyo mtoto anatengenezwa kila mara si mtoto hivi hivi Lazima umpeleke kwa mganga baada ya mwezi ama miezi mbili anaenda kutengenezwa ndio asikufe. Na iko vitu wamekupea umeweka kwa nyumba. Amekwambia hii nyungu iko na vitu. Enda weka kama imelala hivi. Funika hiyo nyungu hivi. Siku mtu atafungua hiyo nyungu ifungue huyo mtoto anakufa. Wamefungwa vitu makamba hapa na vitu huko. Kwa sababu ukikata anakufa. They are called they are called counterfeit babies. uko nao nyumbani kwetu na kuambia leo hii huyo mtoto uko nayo si mtoto ni mtoto si ndola hiyo si ndola si ndola si mtoto huyo mtoto ni si ndola wanaitwa si ndola babies and watch them if you have that kind of a child i'm not saying all of them but if you have that kind of a child watch them they are always prone to convulsions convulsions I'm saying if you have that kind of a child unajua vizuri hii nayo nilipewa na kiganga One of the things they suffer are convulsions many times I assure you they will not live to bury you Karibu wanakufa utasukuma masomo paka university alafu kana chapa Imani hata sio ndogo hakuna It is faithlessness that moves us to the witch doctor. It is f- I know. Kama iko hata kidogo, Yesu anasema inaweza sukuma nini? Mlima. Kama hakuna kabisa, itapeleka wewe Tanzania, itapeleka wewe Uganda, itapeleka wewe kila mahali. Ni kutokuwa na imani ndio inapeleka watu kwa kwa shaka hola. hata biashara yenu nyinyi wengine si biashara yenu mnajua vile mnafanya iko nyoka umeweka hapo kwa kona tu kwa duka kama yuko kwa duka hako kwa bedroom yako umefungia yeye kwa kabati kila siku unampatia soda ya fanta biscuit you know some lady called and said pastor kuna kabati hapo bedroom yetu mzee ameniambia nisiwai shika Nisiwahi fungua. Na kila siku huwa naingia bedroom na soda ya Fanta na biskuti. Na sio yeye anakunywa. Nikimuuliza ni nini kila siku soda na biskuti? Sema wacha kunisumbua. Na hiyo kabati amaambiwa asikuze. Kaambia wewe hiyo kabati iko na vitu yake ya ushirikina. Hiyo soda wengine wanapatia uji. Eh. Iko uji. Iko boma tuliingia tukafanya maumbi. Pali mtoto ali mtoto mjuku alilipua siri. Akasema nyanya huwa nampa uji saa 
akapelekea nyoka kwa shamba mahali. Sasa nyoka anakunywa. Yaani mebadilisha mpaka wajuku wako. Hiyo siku mtoto alitoboa hiyo siri. Wakicheza tu hivi kwa compound. Ndio wewe wanachezanga wanasema he. Yana baba yangu alipiga baba yangu nilicheka. Unajua kuna vitu walimu wa shule wanajua yenye yenye wanakujua hata ukikuja shule useme I pay you to teach my son they know you Ananyamaza tu sababu we ni customer the customer is always right lakini anajua venye unapigwa kwa unapigwa kwa anasema wacha tu ninyamaze huyo ni stress ya bwana yake ina inamfanya naleta hapa mdomo The day that boy said that that is the day that boy died grandmother killed her i know you have these things in the house even now you're looking at me you have them bearing an adventist rubber stamp does not make you clean i know there are homes we've gone adventist people have said on up and they say tumechoka na hii kitu njoo mtusaidie kuomba we have gone those altars are real people are keeping snakes people are keeping funny animals So when we talk like this we don't talk stories that we are reading. Biashara mumeweka hapa iko vitu mumeweka naye. Because you've entered a territory and people have said nani huyu amekuja huyu amekuja na biashara gani hapa kwa area yetu huyu hakuna huyu hawezi hii biashara itaanguka ukafanya miaka mbili tatu wapi you keep on pumping money nothing mwishowe mmoja wao tu ndiye akakwambia twende nikupeleke mahali aulienda hiyo biashara yako inanoga inanoga kwa sababu ya uganga so when we told the chunga hiyo kabati usiguze hivi hivi utaleta shida nikaambia yeye eh, kifanya hivi ngoja siku wa yuko enda fungua tu kidogo enda tufungua kidogo alifungua alishtuka nyoka kubwa kwa hapo ndani akasema pasta nimepata kitu sijawahi ona maisha yangu hata sijui tulifika hapo aje faithlessness ndio inafanya tunafanya hivi tuko sasa kitu inanisumbua na nyinyi ni kwamba tuko kwa hivi vitu na sabato tuko wapi kanisa. Hawa ndio watu wakiingia kanisa wanabeba mapepo wanakuja naye. Because when you visit a witch doctor you summon demons in your life. And they are always with you. Ndio wakiingia hapa kanisa watu wanalala, watoto wanalia, wakisikia nguvu ya Mungu imechacha wananguka chini. Wametengenezwa na uganga pindu wametengenezwa sambamba. Spiritual work requires one to exercise faith. There is no room for doubt. No room for doubt. Hebrews 11 verse 6. I think so. Hebrews 11 verse 6. The Bible says 11 verse 6. The Bible says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he who comes to god must believe that he is god and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him you need to know who god is and what he is able to do so you cannot go on spiritual warfare with doubt you can't You must believe without a shadow of doubt that there is nothing impossible with God. People are comfortable fighting warfare of sickness. They are comfortable. They can fight cancer until they are poor. They are comfortable with that. They are comfortable fighting wars of unemployment. They are comfortable. Very comfortable. Those kinds of wars are easy for them. Financial problems. They are comfortable facing those ones. But when it comes to marriage issues, people give up like. 
Asa, eh, mwanaume hata nisumbua. Mtu mzima, ah mi, mi mwanaume hazi nipea stress. Kila mtu wa songe mbele. That one we can't. Verse 20 says, Then they brought him to him, and when they saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him. <laughs> Listen very carefully. When, when he saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. It means the demon manifested in the presence of Christ. When when people pray and you see some people falling because they have demons, it's not musitoroke in Amanisha the demon has done what? Surrendered. You don't run away. The demon has just surrendered. Two hands up, I surrender. That's why they fall. They can't stand the presence of God in that meeting. So when you meet a big rat at your doorstep with so many things there, just tell God, thank you, you killed it. Sasa mumehama wote nyumbani. Nyinyi wote watoto nane mumehama nyumbani. Mwingine amejenga Mombasa, mwingine na Ivasha, mwingine na Kuru, mwingine Kitale, mwingine Siokumau, mwingine ameenda Machakos. Alafu mumewacha wazazi peke kwa boma hata lale baba yenu walikufa mama yenu amebaki mtu mmoja kwa boma hata mtembelei mnamtembelea na Mpesa na na ango acha zoom si zoom zoom ajui mnamtembelea na Mpesa na na, na WhatsApp WhatsApp call we will video chat tena mmemnunulia simu kubwa mkamfundisha vile vile anafinya kati mnataka ku video call na kuambia siku yako inafika hata wewe utabaki hivu, hivu, hivu. Iyo siyo kimau yako. Hapu. Utabaki hapu. Watoto. Iku mama lilia sana. When I was doing a presentation in their church, it was a retreat. And she cried. I have been sick two years. Anaishi in Arobi. Two years. Ameenda India na kurudi. Watoto wake wako hii na Arobi. None has ever showed up kwa nyumba hawakukosana hapana she has been sick two years and india comes back none of her children has ever visited hata yako inakuja si umewacha mama yenu huko sababu ya uchawi mumemwacha huko mumewacha masai ga 11 mumewacha hapo mnyasi imemea anaishi na nyoka Nyinyi naishi kwa nyumba sababu mmekataa hata kufieka. Hako tu kwa giza peke yake. Misimu mnapiga na kumtumia pesa. Siku yako inafika, utabaki na robi peke yako. Kuna ujinga zingine tunafanyanga. Ati bora umemtumia pesa. What is money? Siku yako inafika. Utatumiwa hata wewe pesa. Utatumiwa tena kila mwezi watakutumia wote. Utaona hata mmoja. Si hata wajuku utaona. Utawaona kwa view sasa. Huyu ndio nani? Baba mimi ni kwamboka. Oh, kwa wewe ndio umekuwa mkupo hivi. Eh, ukupo wao ya utawaonea tu kwa view sasa. Vile mumewacha mama yenu huko. Sababu muna ogopa vitu wa mvai kuogopa. In the presence and power of Christ, demons must manifest. Because it's a power higher than them. They can't stand it. And that is why I tell my women. People have said, sasa unikae tu mbaka aniwe. Usingoji ya kuwe. Kama hauelewi vita vya kiroho hata saa hii jioni enda beba bag enda kuwe. Hapo utakufa. Sababu unapigana na mdomo. 
Eh, eh, sasa umerudi tena umelewa. Anakwambia wewe siku moja nitakupiga. Nipige, nipige, nipige. Jaribu, jaribu. Nipige. Anakwambia acha kuongea na mimi hivyo. Nimefika. Tena unamlete, unamsongea mpaka kwa kifua. Nipige, jaribu, jaribu. Wana nikikuletea mapolisi, jaribu. Before ulete mapolisi utakuwa umekufa. You'll be too dead to call police. Too dead. Kama uelewi vita ya kiroho enda hata saa hii beba vitu yako fanya nini? Because karibu m- Pepo akikuambia nitakuwa atakuwa. Sio mzee wako naongea na ni Pepo naongea na na utakufa. Lakini kama unaelewa vita ya kiroho hata usidhubutu kusonga. Ah ni wale wanaume wanakuja kwa nyumba wa Levi. Kuja na fo- akiingia kwa nyumba anaanguka kwa kiti analala because there is a power in you they cannot stand you are so saturated with the spirit of god that demon cannot stand you kana piga tu kelele hapo nje eh nyabate fungua mlango kabla nikupige unafungua hivi kanaanguka kwa kiti <laughs> kanalala si ati amechoka ule pepo alikuwa anapiga kelele hapo nje alikuwa tu anakushtua anakutreaten fungua kabla leo nitakupiga unafungua tu hivi kwa mlango akikuona tu hivi kanaanguka kama ulewi vita ya kiroho beba vitu yako enda utapigwa na utakufa but when you know spiritual warfare don't even move there's nothing that will happen to you nothing a real child of god in your presence demons must manifest in your presence demons must manifest ujisikia mtu alienda kwa mganga akafukuzwa akam eh we usirudi hapa tena sababu jina amepeleka huko mganga amegundua sio nguvu ya kawaida Ame unaniharibia vitu unaniharibia biashara yangu usirudi hapa tena Napeleka jina ya mtoto wa Mungu mganga muona hapa akijaribu atakufa yeye ndiye atakufa Lakini yani we jina yako iko rais rais tu inaenda tu kwa mganga hivi tu na kuna mganga anasema sawa weka 1000 moja. moja. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yani majina yenu inakuanga rais yaje Unafaa uangaishe mganga mpaka mpaka mwanaenda huko anasema nimekupa pesa mingi. Unajua unajua watu wanaogopa waganga. Ikifika mali mtu waogopi mganga anasema we utanirudishia pesa yangu. Hiyo sasa wamefika wamefika point of desperation. Hakuna kitu inafanya. Jina yako haitiki. Kila kitu inafanywa nothing. There is no beautiful war as fighting the devil and he can't penetrate. Anaweka nothing. Anaweka lakini yeye ni mnaekewa tu kidogo hivi mguu ina fura. Hivi tena ndio umewaacha kwenda nyumba. Nilienda nyumbani mguu yangu ile fura sirudi. Raundi hii ukienda ifure, chukua hii Biblia hii. Ikienda ukienda ufike tu upate umelala asubuhi mguu ikafura vile inafura kila siku ina. Alafu ulienda nyumbani wiki moja, alafu unarudi the next day. Chukua tu Biblia uwekelea hapo kwa hiyo mguu yako. Eh alafu ufanye maombi. Ambia Mungu hapa sitoki. Eh, hii giza iko kwa mguu yangu. Eh? Na iamuru iondoke kwa jina la Yesu. Usiongee vitu mingi wanasema shabara gara gara gara. Ho, oh, hey, hey, hey. eh, eh. Sina tu. Eh, weka tu Biblia hapo kwa hiyo Mungu. Ambia Mungu kuna giza hapo. Na na iamuru hiyo giza atoke kwa jina la nani? toa biblia endelea shughuli yako uone kama itafanyika verse 21 says so he asked his father how long has this been happening to him and he said that statement makes my heart pain he said from childhood this man has been having this child from childhood like this at times i look at, at at parents that have to deal with autistic children i look at and i say 
Some women have quit their jobs just to take care of the autistic children. Sabu, wafanye kazi unataka kubadilisha hapo ni wengi. Mtu atakuja tu akae siku ya kwanza tu hivi ataona atasema, "Ai, wacha nijaribu wiki moja nimwambie mimi siwezi." And some of us have those children they have turned 40. We are with them. So when someone says I've had this child like this for the last 40 years. This man said he has been like this from childhood. And I want you to remember he said and wherever it seizes him it throws him down. Any time the spirit seizes him it throws him down and then he forms at the mouth, gnashes his teeth and becomes rigid. Can you imagine that scenario every day? It's a pity the devil can frustrate you for a very long time. And if you lack patience, you will be frustrated. If you lack patience, you will be frustrated. It requires patience. There's a family in the US we have been praying with. Their firstborn is autistic. They gave birth to a secondborn. They are all boys autistic. Give birth to a thirdborn autistic. So walipofika ya tatu wakaona stand autistic then they said no. It cannot be. So when we connected with them we also knew it is not medical it's just a force of darkness they don't move they don't talk and some of these things unarushiwa kama bado mtoto ako kwa tumbo akitoka anatoka naye and i tell women any time you're pregnant be very prayerful kwa watu wako hapa nje wanatafuta tu hiyo We began praying just on phone like this for about a month too Those kids are now moving they are, they, they, they are pronouncing some words Sio kila ugonjwa ni ugonjwa mengi nipate mimi mengi ya magonjwa tuko nayo ni mapepo and because the spirits were angry that god was working in their lives but the father said if if we can pray from very far and these are the changes we have seen no i am sending the mother to come with one of them so that you have a month of prayer with them they booked an hotel imagine and booked rooms for us also just so that we can wake up together and we pray together every three weeks and they make made payments the day she had packed to go to the airport wanatoka tu kwa nyumba hivi anawasindikiza airport akapata simu baba yake amekufa He had to make an about turn. The trip changed. Let me tell you that is when the devil is now fighting. And they had to cancel that trip. And the journey changed to a funeral one. And I told him that death is anger by the devil to end that trip because he knows what will become of that child. There's nothing the devil fears as when the Lord performs a miracle and the people know who God is. And that is the power that is in testimonies. We have failed to even give testimonies in this church. Why? And the devil has made sure he's killed it because when someone listens to your story and they see how God has worked in your life, their their faith is what? Their faith is renewed. But 
But people are so scared to talk about their stories. The devil has killed testimonies. I love these other churches out here. They worship in sincerity. They are very sincere in error. But when you see, Mimi naitua Elizabeth Mokoro, Mwaka gani sijui nini ilifanyika, Lakini sahi, kwa uweza wa mu, Anatosto, anahaibu. Sababu anazungumzia, Anazungumzia ushindi wa mungu. Sisi, Na hiyo suti unava, Ati ufuja useme kulikuwa na jida kwa, <laughs> Ya mapepo, Ya mapepo, <laughs> Na hiyo suti na kitenge, Aaaa, Hii wacha tutaita tu wazee wa chache kwa nyumba, Tushukuru mungu. <laughs> they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their word. Test him. So tukikaba tunasema nani yako na ushuhuda siku ya pasaka. Kuna mtu wako na ushuhuda? Kuna mtu wako na ushuhuda? Wacha tupohe kidogo labda. Kuna mtu wako na ushuhuda? Kuwa tu jasiri uje. Munajua, munajua ta kulala na kuamuka subuhi ni, 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 ni miraco. Munajua hivo? <laughs> Hii inamanisha watu wa wataki kutoa nini? Ushauda. There's a boy here. I don't want to mention the church. Just close by here. When the mother called me and said, Pastor, I was referred to you by my aunt. And I believe we can pray about this. I told her, okay, fine. I don't like speaking to people on phone because they speak and they are worried about their airtime. So they don't give you all details. Can you come with the boy? They traveled all the way from Nairobi and they came. <laughs> and we sat to speak. Ushaona mtoto wako mkubwa wako university. Amewacha kuenda shule. Anaka zuzu. Zuzu amekuwa zuzu. Wenda, anaka wenda wazini. Anakula makucha mbaka inakuwa. Inakuwa. Inaitua vidonda. Anakuliza maswali yote. Hakuna sana maswali. Pastor Mokoro. Do you think bla bla bla. Anakata. Pastor Mokoro. Dakika. Pastor Mokoro. Pastor Mokoro. Yani hat. And he's suicidal. Ukimwaja tu kwa nyumba hivi, wamemweka on madawa ya mental problem. Anakunywa yot. Interestingly, the mother says, ata kificha wapi kwa nyumba. Wapi. Now, atapata. It means there's a demon that takes in there. So the spirit that he has is suicidal. He wants to die. Wame hangaika na umu toto. And we prayed and we told them you might not take him back. If you can find a place here in Kisumu so that any time we have a week of prayer and fasting he's brought to the meetings we pray with him, you know. Because this thing is not it's not an event is a process. And you must be willing to go through that process. And that is what you don't want to believe. So you want ile unaenda huku nje Mombasa unapewa maji na kitamba. Ako sawa. Ukirudi na kama mwezi mmoja amerudi. Hiyo ndio unataka. It's a process. This boy came in at the beginning of the year. Even as we reached a point we gave up. Not give up like we didn't. Yani umefika mahali tunauliza mungu. Unataka tukuombe aji. How do you want us to pray? Why do you want the world to laugh? Usha ongena mungu unataka kwa nini watu watu cheke. Tunakuwabudu na natuna nguvu yoyote. The parents took him back home. Na ni kama kirudi yapa na rubi ndia nakuwa was. And there are certain revelations that the Lord gave us about his situation and we had to fast and pray about it. And then they moved him from their place because the father was now agitated. Very agitated. Najo usha choka. Moskizana na mtoto akosawa the whole week. Ikifika sabato ndiyo vitu inakuji. 
just to make you not go to church. So kuna hii siku wa maongea na baba yake all through prayer through prayer through prayer they read the word of God and they pray they read and they pray they read and he's preparing him for sabbath so that when sabbath comes he doesn't change his mind Ikifika sabbath baba alitangulia kanisa akauliza mbona amkuji eti nani amekataa kuji akafikiria maombi wamefanya wiki mzima Alitoka na gari kanisani. Akakutana na mama anatoka na gari yake. Wapi mtoto? Nimemwacha kwa nyumba. Alipiga mtoto kofi. The ear drum ilipasuka. Because he's also having the spirit of anger. Even anger is a spirit. And we had to ask him to, to look for a relative in Nairobi and relocate that boy as we continue with prayer. I, the devil can push you to a corner. And out of desperation, you can do things you didn't want to do. Even these things you do in the name of divorce, you're just under pressure. It's bitterness that you have. That story I had begun, I didn't finish. I went for Ginenedong. I'd begun a story before I went to pick a flower out there. So this lady says, they are waiting on suburbs. And I said, but why are you worried? And you're already divorced. How did you learn it? Say he called me and told me. And say why is he calling you to tell? Ukisha divorce mtu mbona unampigia tena eti unafanya harusi? Nikamwambia huyo mtu bado anakupenda. Sasa ananiambia walipofanya harusi yao yeye alikuwa Pentecostal, huyo bwanake alikuwa Catholic. Harusi walifanya kwa garden na wa Pentecostal. Sasa mume amempigia kumwambia eti anafanya harusi kwa Catholic, ameruhusiwa kwamba ile harusi ya kwanza haitambuliki sasa ameruhusiwa kufanya harusi ingine. nikamuliza mbona inakuuma na kutoka 2021 huko tu sawa akaniambia pastor nimeishi na mume wangu kama hana kazi ni mimi tu nafanya kazi na Mungu akanibariki na pesa nikaamua nitafute mahali tuishi tununue nyumba na akasema kwa vile sio jukumu ya mwanamke akaongea na mume wake wanunue nyumba akachukua zile pesa akampa so that is on the four and there's nothing wrong with that so the guy was on the four as they purchased this house work on a documents though the transfer of names has not been done Tuko na gari nimenunua niko na documents shamba nilinunulia mama yangu niko na hizo documents siku moja tu kitu ikaniambia ni check hizi documents pasta nilipata hakuna zote hakuna nikamuuliza wewe ndio ulichukua documents amenyamaza hataki hata kuongea nikamwambia jamani tunaishi na wewe hapa watu wangapi wawili watoto hawezi chukua bado ni wadogo umepeleka wapi documents hizi zote ya gari ya shamba na ya hii nyumba Menya masa. Akaongea na brother ya baba yake. Kamwambia niongelelesha mume wangu. So the uncle called the husband. And the husband says, "Oh, nilikuwa nimepeleka kwa lawyer. There is a legal aspect I wanted to understand. But even if there is a legal aspect, can't you tell your wife I feel there is this this let me consult. Why do you just take and you don't even want to admit you've taken?" Ati nitarudisha. So she didn't want to cause a problem and I love her spirit because when you want to elevate material things over spiritual things you'll be carried away Job says I came naked I live naked you God you God gave God has done what take it because there's a life is chasing higher than the cows and the plot and the car So akamtafutia mume wake kazi na networks zake 
akapata. Hiyo siku alipata kazi. Alimngoja tu asubuhi moja ametoka ameenda kazini. Akahamisha kila kitu kwa nyumba. Akapeleka nyumba ingine. in the same estate, just the next court. Sasa mfanye kazi anampigia na mwambia mami baba nani anahamisha vitu. Kwa nini? Ati hata mimi sijui. Na umeenda field work. Hawezi rudi. She came back after one week. Alipoingia alipata nyumba imefagiliwa yote. Akipiga simu mko wapi? Ashiki hata simu. Just kept calling. It was getting late. She went to a neighbor to to rest. Finally, it is her son that picked. Akamwambia mami tunakuja. And they came with the key to the house. Ushafagiliwa nyumba yote. Kila kitu. Wapi dadi anakuja? Came at nine in the evening. And when he came, he said, uh, Mimi ni mehama. Watoto na muzo unaenda wapi? Kwangu. And that's how he left. And before you know it, he's processing divorce papers. Bada hako na documents zako za nyumba, za gari, za shamba. Nikamuza kwani unaishi hiyo nyumba ama unaishi nyumba. Nasa, no, we are in a rental space, but that house we have rented. It's giving us more income than even the rent we are paying. So we get the income, we pay rent here. What remains, we use it to do other things. Who collects the rent? Him. I had to introduce him. So that when a, when a, when a, when a, a tenant leaves he looks for another one anaweka yeye ndiye ana collect rent. Sasa huyu mtu ana kazi hiyo bado yeye ndiye ana collect rent. Yaani mtu ana collect rent kwa nyumba ulinunua analipia rent nyumba mpya anaishi na mtu mwingine. Wanafanya harusi Saturday. Hey! Akinyenye mbaba saa nyingine huko Paula anauliza who has bewitched you? Niambie kama hiyo kitu ni normal if that guy, that guy is under a spell. It's not normal. It is not normal. I told him listen to me mama. Isikukoseshe usingizi. Usilie wewe kula. Chunga watoto wako. Hata usimuulize Mwachie ana kazi na ako na bibi mwingine anaenda kuwa. Mwachie tu hiyo renta collect. Bure ukichukua atakufa. Atakufa. Mwachie tu. Hiyo ndoa ni bandia. Divorce ni bandia. Wacha usikose usikose usingizi kwa vitu vya bandia. Atarudi. We mpe macho. Pasta uko sure. Ah. Our God rebuilds from nothing. Even when there's a divorce, the Lord Mungu mu, eh, the Lord resurrects people from the dead. Siku watu walikufa na akarudisha. Sasa divorce ni itamshinda. I gave him a story of a woman that went through the same thing. She came to me and said, "Pastor, this is my story. My husband is wedding in the next two weeks." And I told her what is your story? Tulienda kanisa na watoto, tukarudi jioni tukapata mlango imefungwa, tulimwacha kwa nyumba tukampigia, akaniambia nisikupate hapo. And she thought it was a joke. So what has happened? We have never fought. What has happened? Nisikupate hapo. Tafuta mahali ngine muende. She went back to their home. Took a wooden house ya brother yake mwenye ayuko. Nimbe pastor that night I slept on a wooden box with my children. All I had was my handbag and the clothes we were putting on. We had to start life from there. She was a casual worker where the husband was working. The husband went and asked the employer amutoe kazi. Wakamutoa. Akarudi akatafuta kazi mahali lingine hapo mahali tulikutana. Sitaki kusema details zote mtaenda kumtafuta. Mahali tulikutana hapo nilikuwa hapo ndiye alipata kazi. Na ni kazi ilikuwa anaosha cho na rooms zingine. Niambia nimehangaika nime na watoto, our first daughter, two children, the first born the daughter was paralyzed. And she has struggled through. Today the girl is in the US. The boy is employed. So hakuja tu 
nikitoka nyumbani nakimbia huko na yeye tukakutana koja. Unajua kule koja iko? Hapo koja, tukakutana hapo koja. Akaniambia pastor, mimi ndio nilimuona, nikamwambia, "Mbona una Why are you panting? Mbona una hema sana? Ni kama una mbio. Kaniambia pastor nimepua divorce papers. Hata siku aware the process of divorce. Iko na signature yangu. I've never signed. So it was forged. Na akakuwa akapewa. Ndoa yako imeisha forged. Mtu wako na forged divorce na umeletewa mpaka barua. Signature yako iko hapo. Unaenda wapi sasa na hii jasho yote? naenda kwa loya. Sasa ile kazi unafanya ya kuosha cho pale. Hiyo ndio inabenda hiyo pesa ndio unapeleka kwa loya. Nikamwambia fanya hivi, tuombe na utulie. Tafuta stage yenu ya basi yenu. Enda chukua enda nyumbani. Huu jamaa kuna mali ya number one, divorce iko forged. N- number two, n- number two ni divorce ya bandia. Ndoa ni ya bandia. Usi, u, lala, isikusumbue. Hakuna mali inaenda. And she went home. I thought she wouldn't. I met her the next morning. I asked her mama, "Ulienda kwa lawyer hapana? Si vile uliniambia niliwacha hivyo." Nambia sasa nataka uende uchunge nyumba yako na watoto wako. Hii jamaa kuna mali inaenda. He has met a banker. One time I preached in their church and it, she told me huwa anakuja hapa kanisani kamza anakuja na huyo mke wake hapana anakuja peke yake hata siku moja ameniita akaniambia habari yako habari ya watoto alafu ananiambia mbona mimi au ni serve lunch naona una serve kila mtu mimi au ni serve pastor he was desperate nikamwambia siungemserve tu sasa na msava aje na mimi si mke wake kwa ni wale wa kristo una serve ni bwana zako Unamsab tu kama mshiriki. Ambia karibu mshiriki, enjoy. Akaniuliza pasta uko sure hiki kitu itakufanyika kweli? Nikamwambia weka macho, hapo hakuna ndoa ni ya bandia. Hiyo divorce ni ya bandia. Atarudi. Si tayari anakuuliza kama unamsab. Una tayari ameuliza. Then I traveled to Kisumu we relocated to Kisumu. She called me I think it was last year if it's not last year the other one and told me pastor ni mimi fulani nikamwambia ah miaka mingi vipi akaniambia eh pastor unajua mume wangu ali retire ambia ah okay na waliwachana na yule mama ama eh si nilikwambia kuna mali inaenda sasa unatakaje ananiambia ati nirudi nikamuliza maoni yako ni gani Pasta hapa hata uniambie salmon gani? Sirudi. So kwa nini ulinipigia? Na ndio maombi tumekuwa tukifanya. Kukuambia tu ile ndoa haifanyi kazi imeisha. <laughs> Lakini kurudi. Kurudi mimi sirudi pasta sikudanganyi sirudi. Nikamwambia sikiza mambo. Tumekuwa tukiomba isifanye kazi. Na nilikwambia atarudi. Ati sasa unajua shida ni moja, shida ni gani? Ni mgonjwa. Ako bedridden na hana kazi. Yaani sasa mimi ni nirudi kwenda kumchunga. The guy is dying. Yule amemtoroka. It's so sad when a man has to die like a dog. Nikamwambia fanya hivi mama. Najua ni ugonjwa unaogopa. Ana ugonjwa gani? Hati mimi naona ni kama kuna ile ugonjwa mbaya. Nikamwambia sasa sasa mtu wa kubedridden analala na wesa ngapi na tayari ya kubedridden. Huyo ni wakutunzwa tu. Unaona huyo bwana yako? Hapo kwa kitanda amelala. Ako na regret mingi. Na nisikudanganye. Atamaliza shida yake na Mungu watu wawili. Na atasamehewa. Na ataenda mbinguni. Wewe utakosa mbinguni sababu ya kutokumsamehe na uchungu uko naye. You will not see heaven. So just go back the few months or years he has just take care of him. Let let him, let him die with dignity. Just take care of him. Let him die with dignity. Let him die feeling he was forgiven.
So I told this lady to lay to watch afanya rusi kukupigia tu kukwambia anafanya rusi hiyo ni symptom ya kwamba bado roho yake iko kwako. Kama ulisha divorce kwa nini unani unani unanipasha unani habari ya kufanya harusi? Ndio nifanye ni. Huyu atarudi. Ule mama kwanza si bado documents haijabadilika kwa jina yenu ya nyumba. Anaenda kuchokora yeye mpaka hiyo nyumba iende jina yake. Kisha enda jina yake atamtupa hapo kama takataka. Atabaki ya dada nyumba ana mahali pa kuishi. Atarudi tu. I don't know why I'm taking long and it's eight. We will finish this sermon tomorrow. It's getting hata tujafika nusu yake. Nataka tuachie hapo. It's already eight. So usipokuja kesho shauri yako. So the devil can frustrate you for long. And I keep saying if you had if you were dealing with your child wayward many of us are willing to handle our wayward children many of us we are willing to handle our wayward children many of us ati mtoto wako anakusumbua you are much willing but when it's a spouse we are quick to call it off and quit what you didn't understand is that the relation between you and your spouse runs much deeper than the relation you have with your child your mother your siblings what exists between a man and his wife you cannot compare it to what exists between you and your parents your siblings and your children if there is anyone you must fight for in this world it's not even your child it's your spouse it's a concept i'm not willing to unpack right now but if i had time I would have shown you who you are and who he is. You will know not even your child comes close. It's deep. But how easy it is when you have to deal with a child but when it's a spouse. Ai. Tusonge mbele. Tutapatana mbele. I want to finish with verse 22 and then we pray. It goes up to verse 29. We will finish tomorrow. Verse 22 says, And often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water. Nasikia kitu mtu alikuwa na deal na. Ikikuja kwanza inamwangusha chini, ana form. Is it? Alafu anakuwa rigid, wezi mbeba hata. Na sahi anasema inafanya nini? Inamtupa kwa maji ama kwa? Huyu ni mtoto unaweza acha peke yake. I had a friend like that who had twins but one was sick like that in his 40s a man sick. The mother had to take care of him. The mother took care of him with bitterness. Uko ufanye maombi hivi hivi hata siku ya kwanza niliambia pasta twende tufanye tufanye visitation wa mama wakaniambia pasta ukumbuke ni wewe unaomba hapo wewe ndio unafanya devotion hapo nikamuuliza kwa nini huyo mama ana machungu kuna siku tulienda alitutusi kwa nini aliwatusi sababu unajua ni mtoto wako wild is a man full grown very wild na kuna siku tumeenda hapo wakina mama alafu akakuja huyo mtoto akaka karibu na mama mwingine huyo mama aliogopa kamka akamwambia you came to pray for my son and you are afraid you can't even sit next to him get out of my house and he chased them away so they were scared this time around they are going and they are telling me pastor when you unafanya devotion when you unaomba and i told them okay let's pray let's go let's pray he, he is not wild today and if he comes next to you don't stand just sit there's nothing he will do i don't know why i got a devotion or thought and she began to cry and i asked him mama why are you cry and she said you see what i've not gone to church for years i thought we would even exchange with my husband This Sabbath remains with the boy. Next Sabbath I do. We change exchange like that. But I take care of him like 
ni mimi nilimozaa peke yangu i don't even know how the outside of this compound looks like because if it's a boy you live utapata ali alifanya hiyo vitu yake kwa jikoni alienda jikoni huko ndiye akapupu aka akakojoa ama utapata aliingia sitting room akangusha kila kitu mpaka vitabu kila kitu ni nyumba iko upside down and i think the boy came and sat next to me and i held his hand like this and he was quiet and i asked him let us pray and for once she said this is the only group that has visited me and i felt like christ visited me so these kids are not easy to handle sema huyu mtoto hiki kitu kikuja inarusha yeye kwa maji ama kwa moto this parent has never left mtoto yake tembea nayo kama kibeti yako and then she says but if you can do anything have compassion on us and help us and then Christ says Jesus said to him if you can believe i love that bit Christ is saying i have no problem healing this boy but if only you can do it if you can believe all things are possible to him that does what yes. so what limits christ to come through for you is your unbelief he says i can do anything in your life but i can't because you don't believe me faith is what activates the power of christ faith is what makes christ swing into action we have lost many battles and we have blamed god when he was more than willing to come in but our unbelief is what stopped us stopped him from coming and he tells that man i know what you're talking about but if you can do it if you can believe tomorrow we will discuss the other bit where he says help my unbelief i want to let you go hata tujamaliza sermon ya leo tutamaliza kesho na tunashinda tukipostpone hiyo series tutamaliza kesho nilisema tuko hapa kumaliza muda tuko hapa tuelewe hiyo shida unaona kwako hiyo nataka ubadilishe perspective yako and understand there is a force of darkness that is fighting with you You don't need to fight back. The battle does not belong to you. The only need thing you need to is believe in the power of who? Of Christ. It doesn't matter how long it will take. Do you know some of us at times we preach on this pulpit. It's not easy to make a call because at times you hear you'll make a call and no one will come. And you'll be like, "Yeah, all these things I've preached no one has been touched." It's not easy to make a call. And at times we really want to make a call and ask people that are sick, people that are childless to come we pray. Many people wouldn't want to make those calls. Because they say I made a call and nothing happened. They came but they're still sick. I've always told myself I will make those calls because I don't have the power to heal you. I have no power to open your womb. I don't have it. I will make the call. The faith I have in Christ is what will heal you. And I'm not in a hurry to see it instant. You will call me after one year, even two, and you will say we have a child today. There's a family we struggled with. Hakuna mtoto. Hakuna mtoto kijana ameambiwa awachane na msichana na mahari imelipwa. Akakuja kanililia kaniambia nionge. Mali tumefika naishi nyumba ingine msichana naishi nyumba ingine. 
wameletwa na elder fulani tukakaa tukaongea 3 hours wakakubali kurudi kuishi pamoja nikauliza msichana kwa nini wewe mimi mama yangu walikufa tunaishi na baba yangu tu ndio yuko hata mali naenda kulia hakuna na mama ya huyu mvulana amenitusi matusi yote anakuja mpaka kwa duka yangu sababu hata yeye anafanya biashara ananitusi mbele ya watu katikati ya town umekauka bwezi hata za mtoto nikamwambia naomba urudi kwako narudi aje na tayari alipata msichana mwingine amempachika mimba sasa huyo msichana ndiye analazimishwa amuoe msichana ametolewa mpaka msichana ametolewa waisdie ni wabaya msichana ametolewa na mama mkwe amepelekwa nyumbani amepewa saiga ya mvulana mvulana amekataa kuenda huko sema yeye anajua bibi yake nikamza kama unajua bibi yako mbona ukampachika mimba asma pasta ni pressure wazazi wameitwa wa msichana kutoka kanisa ya ICDA Mombasa ati hata hao wamekuja kuona mahali msichana yao ameolewa na wao pia wameamini eti ameolewa nikamwambia haijalishi nikauliza mvulana unataka kuishi na huyu mke wako ati ndio na msichana ananiambia pasta mimi siendi sasa ule mama mwingine nikamwambia usijali hapo hakuna bibi the fact that kuna mtoto haimaanishi kuna bibi wakarudi waka wakaishi pamoja walipoishi pamoja kijana akaanza kutafutwa na uncles wake alienda nyumba yake walienda nyumba yake wakahamisha kila kitu chake walivunja mlango wakaweka kwa pickup wakarudisha nyumbani wakasema kuja ishi na bibi yako huyu mwingine akahama kwa msichana wakaanza kutafutwa na polisi wakahamia Nairobi hawana hawana kazi mvulana hana kazi sababu wako kwa kazi ya familia family business wamemnyang'anya msichana ndiye anafanya biashara zake ndogo ndogo wamekimbia Nairobi nikamwambia mbona mnatoroka enda kwa polisi sema kesi yenu huko wakakuja wakaenda polisi wakaambia polisi najua mnatutafuta tuko hapa tumefika sasa wacha tuwapatie story yote polisi akasema hiyo ndio kitu tunatafuta na tunapoongea mahari imeenda ikarudishwa wameomba mahari irudishwe so baba msichana akarudisha mahari ngombe zikarudishwa nikawaambia ndoa si ndoa sababu ya mahari nyinyi kama ni mtoto anakuja weka macho hivi karibuni have you, have you ever mentored people spiritually that they don't know god unaangalia tu kwa sura yake unajua huyu hawa hatawajui mungu so you 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 you, you are mentoring it is called on the job training eh? unajua kuna ile unasoma lesson alafu unaenda practical hii yao ni lesson na practical pamoja practical ni wao na, na lesson pia lazima wasome it is hard so at times when i don't pick your call just know my brain is packed okay yes because it's not one case there are many and you're called all over this world someone called me from trinidad hey. na kizungu amekuandikia hata uelewi aisomeki So I have to struggle and sit down and try and make out. Hiki zungu yote ameandika mrefu hivi. Anajaribu kusema nini? I began calling them to our meetings. We call them the family fellowship. It's a meeting of all denominations. It's not a church. It's families that have come together and are just seeking the face of God. We meet somewhere in Kisumu. I meet people on the streets. They tell me pastor, mimi ni mpetekosto. Like, kanisa yako ni gani nikuja? Mimi sina kanisa. Why is dia wana kitu eti pastor kona kanisa yake. So I tell them but we have a place and we did it intentionally for that. There are people who want to come. But when they hear the word Adventist, they have prejudice. So we allow them a space where where we are not operating like Adventists. We are operating as children of who? God kuna kitu kingine tunatafuta hapo hapo kila mtu amekuja na shida yake anatafuta sura ya nani ya Mungu and then in the process of time as we do devotions and what they say we want to be baptized so i asked them to come for those meetings they came and they were coming faithfully wawili wanajua wako kwa moto kidogo msichana atimshana na 
ana ana anasikia nausea <laughs> sasa elda ndiye ananipigia unajua nani alienda hospitali ni mgonjwa nika ana ugonjwa gani ni kama ni malaria anatapika mm-hmm. wacha tungoje test ya daktari mimba iko alishika mimba tumelea hiyo mimba kwa vita sababu mamada in law pia ana, ni wa madawa so ataki ya zai so ni hitha kufe ama mtoto wa kufi ni, ni mimba tulilea na vita maombi funga au kufi siku yake ya kuzaa alienda into labor akafika katikati ikapotea wakasema wanaenda CS tukasema hapana hii tunaomba hii sasa huyu anataka aenda baki kwa meza huko tukaomba Ushafanya maombi kwa hospitali mpaka watu wa hospitali wakasema hawa ni kina nani. Kwa rafiki yangu anaomba anasema hivi kwa kijalo Mungu, hii mali yote hapa wagenjo wamelala, hawafai kulala hapa. Ini hao watu wana, wako kwa biashara ya kutengeneza pesa. <laughs> maombi tunafanyia fulani hapa, itoe wagonjwa wote hapa, vitanda ibaki nini? Bure. Tumeomba azae Nomo limekata anaenda kufanyiwa operation. Kile shetani anataka akufe ama mtoto wa kufe atatoka huko akiwa hai na mtoto wako ni. Kaenda. Tunangoja. Alirudi. Mtoto. Msichana. Tukaenda usiku kabisa. Tumetoka maombi. Watchman akatuambia saa hii usiku watu waingi alafu tukapiga simu huko ndani akasema jamani ni ruhusu mtu wakakuja wakasema mtu mmoja nikaambua pasta waenda Nika, kufika reception watchman amenitupia maneno unajua sasa unafanya watu wanaona mimi ni mtu mbaya ameni ananisomea sababu nimewakataza watu wao wasiingie na wewe nimekuruhusu unajua ananisomea tukitembea tukafika reception tukaruhusiwa kuingia kwa nursing station nasa akasema e eh, pasta ni wewe haya mm. akanyamaza akasikia ni pasta akanyamaza sasa mnafanya watu wananiona mimi ndio mbaya watu wao nimewafukuza na nyinyi mw... ne huyu ni pasta anaweza fanya hata maombi ya watu wote wa mama wako hapa wapone ule pasta unasikianga kwa simu ule ule wakati tumekaa pa usiku ndio huyu e eh, akanyamaza nikamwambia niko na wenzangu huko nje watatu tunaweza ingia nao tuombe enda enda walete ati pasta pole sikujua ni wewe <laughs> tukaleta wengine tukafungua maombi kwa kwa kwa, kwa wode ya wamama tulifanya maombi hapo usiafasikia maombi ya kungongo kungongo ni aje set kungongo ne jeje Ma, maombi ya kupiano ha kuringia shetani paka wa mama wengine wakasema eh hawa ni kina nani sababu tumeshinda vi vita there is power in prayer all you need christ is saying i can do it if only you can believe that is all is struggling with if only you can believe hata kitu tulikuwa tunataka kuongelea juu ya fasting hatujaongea I want to release you because this fasting here you'll only understand it in context of that story. So we will finish it up tomorrow in 30 minutes and then we begin our series tomorrow. May the Lord bless you in Jesus name. I pray for victory in your battles as you go. Those who've never had children, I pray the Lord will open your wombs. Sometimes next year like this, a time like this, you shall see We had a week of prayer and the Lord has enabled me carry my own child. It will not be about Mokoro. In fact, it will be wrong for you to say Mokoro. Ile time Mokoro alikuwa hapa. It will be wrong for you to say that. Even that separation your processing, hakuna mahali naenda. Mimi ndio nakwambia. That divorce your processing is not going anywhere. 
I'm currently handling a divorce case that they are, they are now at the stage of splitting their wealth. The man is adamant. He said, we are divorcing. And they don't know God. The woman is not even an Adventist. He's just listening to these sermons, but he's dealing with a man who's adamant, ready to marry. They are splitting their, their, their wealth. And I said in my heart, let him split. Let him split. Let him marry. Kuna mali atafika. Ni kama kuweka petroli ya miatano kwa Ranger Rover Sport. Autafika nayo pale kwa... Ile, ile barabara kubwa ni ito autaring. Amane ito. Iyo inenda tauni. Eh. Iyo gari itawaka tu hapa. Tutafika pale iyo itazimi hapo. Hapo. Hapo quick mat. Usishtuki. May the Lord bless us in Jesus name. Let's stand for prayer. Our Heavenly Father, beautiful to know that there is nothing impossible with you. All you're asking is if we can believe. And we are praying, help our unbelief. Speak into everyone of our situations and circumstances. Breathe life into it. May we come back here sometimes and say, if it were not for God, we wouldn't be where we are. May your name be glorified. Disperse your children with the peace that surpasses all understanding is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.